Hey everyone, welcome back. This time we're going to go over manually setting up Visemes. Um, before we do this, I'm going to state that uh, 9 times out of 10, the avatar creator should set these up automatically for you. If you're using standard or standard-ish Visem names such as Visemes starting with VRC dot or Visemes that start with uh, common phoneme names like TH, OH, etc, stuff like that, uh, Neo should do it. So a, a good job to automatically find those. If it doesn't or there's issues, I'm going to take you through the whole setup manually so that you can do this only attempt this if you've already failed um, at getting the avatar creator to automatically do it. Um, this can also occur if you're setting up something that isn't an avatar, for example, like a you know an actor or an NPC. Let's get going. I'm going to hop over and just move POV here and um, turn on this point light. Uh, I've got an avatar here that's from the S Essentials. It's called Ybot Fizemes plus eye tracking or something. Um, I'm not quite sure who made this or modified it from the original Ybot to add eyes and Fizemes. If it is you, let me know. I'll put some credits in the description for you. Um, but uh, there we go. I'm just going to close this so that we can start fresh that's open from a previous take. So let's get started. To do this, we need to go find out where the Viasemes are. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and equip my developer tooltip. I'm going to point it at the head of the avatar, push secondary, and then open the inspector on that. That'll get us to the head bone. I'm going to come across here and hit the up arrow, which is the, sorry, the big up arrow, which is the one on the left here. And we're going to go up to the top of the avatar and from here, we're going to go into centered root, root node, and body. Inside body, if we oops, if we uh, if we scroll down, we'll see the big list of Visemes here. Now, this particular avatar is named after the um, well, its Visemes are named after the VRC uh, Viseme names. Like I said, that's not required. I'll give you a link in the video description to a list where there is these standard names. Uh, so if I move some of these uh, up. You'll see that the mouth adjusts just a little bit. Make it look like it's talking. So we need to set these up so that they work. Um, and that's actually quite easy to do. So to do that, we're going to need a few components. Um, one of them is called the direct Visium driver. And this is the one I recommend adding to the body of the avatar. To do that, go to attach component, rendering. And then you're looking for direct Visium driver there. From here, you can hit the auto assign targets button and you should see that it's assigned a lot of them. So FF is assigned, TH is assigned, DD is assigned. If you go back up to the top here, you'll see that there are a lot of pink ones here. And pink means driven or being referenced somewhere. So you'll see that it's found almost all of these. Now it's not required that all of these are um, set. So you'll see here that PP isn't set and laugh is not set. That's absolutely fine. There's a quote in the quote channel that says there is no PP, and that was when I was helping, I think it was Shellfoot with their avatar, and they didn't have a PP Visium, and I just looked at them and I said, there's no PP, is that okay, or something like that. But uh, it's perfectly fine that it doesn't exist. So that's there, like that. Um, with that done, we're kind of done with the direct Visium driver. Let me straighten this a little bit. There we go. That's not straight at all. There we go. Um, uh, the other aspects of the um, Visium system, I recommend adding, adding to the head proxy because that's where they're found um, via the avatar creator. So it's good to sort of see them from there. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and grab the head proxy and open it up to the side of the, um, of the body one here so that we've got both going here. Now I have taken some of the components out of the head proxy. If you open up the head proxy on the one that's in Neos Essentials, you will see different components. Um, so I've saved a version of this avatar called Ybot Visium's Base, just like the wording up there, to my public folder. It's under um, Tutorials, Avatar Tutorials, Visium, so you can follow along at home. Here you'll see that there is an avatar um, uh, avatar audio output manager, there's a voice source assigner, and there is an audio output. This all handles um, the uh, speaking of the avatar, like actually hearing it speak. Um, I did a video on how to sort of play with this a little bit, um, which I'll link in the video description for you, but we're going to focus on Visemes. So for Visemes, what we need is a Visem analyzer. Now, I always forget where this one is, but we're going to try and do this unedited because I never edit my videos. So I think it's inside users, common avatar system, face. Uh, no, that was wrong. E in Tarvizim, Vizim, Vizim, Vizim. Is it in media? Yes, media utility. Apologies for that. So it is media utility. Visim analyzer right here. So you'll need this. 
Now, a Visim analyzer takes a source and it will um, report back numbers. And these numbers are sort of how it's analyzing the voice source and detecting what Visims they are. To get this working, what we're going to need to do is duplicate the um, avatar voice source assigner component. And that one is in users. So what we're going to do here is go to attach component, users, common avatar system, avatar voice source assigner. With this added, drag the source into the voice source assigner and you'll see that it turns to syncref1 on head proxy. That's um, that part done. Now all we need to do is hook up the Visim analyzer to the direct Visim driver. To do that, grab the word Visim analyzer, drop it into the source here, and you'll see Visim analyzer on head proxy. With that, we're done. So I can now go ahead and deselect all and equip this avatar. And we're gonna to hop to a third person here and move out the way so that my, my body's out of the way. Where's this light? There it is. Uh, you'll see here that my um, Visims are working. If I go ahead and zoom in with the control uh, camera, you'll see here that everything's working. When I stop talking, you'll see that the mouse shuts. And when I start talking again, you'll see that they open. I do want to show you though in Smooth POV over here on the inspector that these are going wild. And this is what you want to see, because um, human voice is very complicated, and as such, the as uh, the Visims are just sort of doing all sorts of things. Um, so over here in the Visim analyzer, each of these properties go to one when the Visim analyzer thinks that there is a 100% certainty that you are doing that Visim. So if I do something deliberately, like ooh. You'll, you'll see that the um, the rest of the Visim's kind of relaxed a little bit and only um, O, H, U, and E, and A kind of uh, uh, went up there. I'm not entirely sure um, how to get, you know, a sound that I could produce that would get one of these to be, you know, permanently happy. Don't worry about it too much. Just worry about the fact that it's working. Additionally, down here, laughter probability is the, um, again, the confidence that the system has on if you're laughing or not. Um, I can't force a laugh that well, so I'm not even going to try. But if this is one, then it means that you're absolutely laughing. And if it's zero, it means that there is zero chance that you're laughing. And uh, that's what the uh, the system thinks, not literally. I misworded that. So it's like it's, it's, it's thought about if you're laughing or not. So you'll see that this is, for the most part, is always a very low value, which means it has a very low confidence that you're laughing. If it goes all the way to the top, it means it has a very high confidence that you're laughing. So don't over index too much on these values. Um, if you see something above 0.5 here, it probably means that you should turn on the uh, laugh, um, laugh visim. So over here, you can see the, uh, the visims all working. Um, if you don't like the way that the visims are working or you want to adjust them, um, there are some properties that you can change. There is smoothing here. You can also go to the um, direct visim driver here and you can uh, rebind them around or you can change the strength multiplier, which will increase or decrease the strength at which the visims are applied. Um, that's good if your visims are kind of subtle. So if I drag this all the way up to the top, which means twice um, as 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 um, strong, then you'll see here that now I've basically got my mouth open all the time and they're doing quite violent visims. I'm just going to go ahead and remove my other avatar by just moving it to one side. That's kind of creepy. Okay, there we go. So now you see it's like doubly as strong. I think you can overclock that number by just typing in something manually. So if I go all the way up to five, yeah, it took five. Um, then uh, you'll see that there's, uh, you know, quite a sort of weird thing going on here. If you see one of those videos where um, they do like scenes from popular films um, or films games with like 500% um, uh, facial animations, this is basically the equivalent of that. I've seen ones for things like Beyond Two Souls or The Last of Us, etc. Also some sort of uh, TF2 ones. That's exactly what they're doing here. They're just saying, you know, make the strength of all the facial expressions larger. So that is Visims for you. I hope that helps. There is more to cover on Visims. Let me just turn this down. Uh, there is more to cover on Visims. Um, if you have any more questions, do let me know. There will be some follow-up videos on this. And again, one more time, do remember that uh, it should be automatically set up when you uh, do an avatar or in most cases. It's just if it's not, then this is what you do. I'll see you next time. I uh, hope that helped. 
I'll also put a copy of this avatar in the folder next to it with the word setup so you can um, take a look. It is exactly the same at this point as the one in the Central's though. Bye-bye.